Hello and welcome to Aberdeen Asset Management Cows Week 2015. It's the 180th event, can you believe that? But this time it brings 8,500 sailors with one of the broadest ranges of boats that we've ever seen, from XODs at one end of the scale to the world's fastest monohull, Comanche. This week we're going to be stepping aboard some of those boats to bring some of the action alive. But today I'm sailing on board Oyster Catcher with Richard Matthews. But before we get on to that, let's have a look at some of the people who've done well in previous years. We've been very lucky the last couple of years sailing in the squib class. We've had a very big fleet and it's given us the numbers. I've managed to turn out on top for the two years running. This year's looking good. We've got 31 squibs again, but the competition now in the squib fleet is getting harder and harder. So the likelihood of winning overall again is very unlikely. I tend to do pretty well at Cowswick. I like sailing around the Solent. I like the challenges of the navigation. Uh, the weather conditions can be anything from dead calm to sinking conditions and uh, we enjoy the event. He is very good, he does it very well, so guys like me have to just use a bit of low cunning if we're ever to get, get round him. And although Roger might win, um, it was always very good competition. 2015 Cows Week is looking really great. We've got a few more boats than last year, so we're just a little bit under 800 boats at the moment. So it's a huge week, and at the moment it's beautiful sunny weather, and it looks like it's going to stay that way until midweek, where we might get a few thunder showers. Among the eight and a half thousand sailors that are taking part in Cows Week, there are lots of very well-known names, and among them is Richard Matthews. Now, for a lot of people, Richard will be known as the man who set up Oyster but it'll also be known to a lot of competitors as someone who just comes to Cows Week again and again and again. Richard, how, when did you do your first Cows Week? Well, Matt, I think I go back to about 1969. Okay. So if you do the maths, it's, it's been a while, as they say. Why do you keep coming year after year? It's, it's just, uh, it's, it's a shrine to yacht racing and a shrine to meeting old sailing friends. I mean, more and more as you get older, you, the social side and the shore life becomes an important part of the week. It's a festival of sailing and a festival of meeting sailing friends, I think in equal measure. The organisers of Aberdeen Asset Management Cows Week have teamed up with the Green Blue, a joint environment initiative of the Royal Yachting Association and British Marine Federation to further develop the number of green initiatives already in place at the regatta. Our aim is to try and make um, the boating community more sustainable on the water and on shore. Um, and here at Cows Week people are interested in what we're trying to do and many people aren't aware of the actual impacts boating can have because usually it has that perception of already being quite sustainable, which it is. Um, but there's always things we can do more. So that's day one, the first Saturday of Cows Week and the bars and marquees are already starting to fill up. We're back tomorrow, it's family day tomorrow. I'm gonna to be sailing an XOD, one of the absolute classic one designs of Cows Week.